Many homeowners face water damage in the bathroom floor. It's no wonder, it's a common place to accumulate water from humidity and water. Even with precautions like using a wet slash dry vacuum, homeowners can end up with serious damages if they don't repair the damage properly. Thankfully, there are several steps you can take to prevent further water damage. The first step is to determine the extent of the damage. Whether it's a porcelain floor, ceramic tile, or an engineered wood floor, water can cause extensive damage to your floor. Moreover, standing water in the bathroom can cause serious problems such as mold and mildew growth. To prevent the effects of this, it's best to get your bathroom floors repaired by a professional. They can use state-of-the-art equipment to repair your water-damaged floor. When the damage has reached the flooring, it can affect the entire finished bathroom floor. Usually, it's a laminate, tile, or wood material. In such a case, you'll need to replace the damaged material. You'll have to cut out the affected tile or wood flooring and replace it. If the sealant has become compromised, gaps and cracks will appear on the floor. In addition, water will collect on the surface. Eventually, the wood will warp as a result of moisture. This will also be a safety hazard for you and your family. Once the water has been removed, you can begin repairing the bathroom floor. To repair a bathroom floor, you can use a floor buffer and a small shop vac to remove large pieces of carpet, wallpaper, or hard surface damage. In addition, you should dry the subflooring thoroughly before reinstalling the new planks. If this fails, you can even try replacing the flooring yourself. Once it is completely dried, you can then nail down the new planks. Once the water damage is done, it's time to replace the subfloor of the bathroom. The damaged subfloor must be dried before you can repair it. If there is any mold, it's best to get a professional to fix it right away. The new subfloor will be reinforced by 2x6 lumber, which serves as the floor framing. It's important to remember that the subfloor has to be completely dry to avoid further damage. Before you start repairing a water-damaged bathroom floor, make sure you shut off the water source. You should first turn off the water source to the leaky pipe to let it dry. If the water has penetrated the subfloor, you should turn off the water supply. Then, turn off the water source to the leaky area. If you've already fixed the pipe, you can clean the area thoroughly. After cleaning the area, replace the floor joists. Once you've repaired the subfloor, you'll need to repair the floor. You'll need to replace the damaged flooring with the same material as before. You'll need to replace the subfloor if it's soaked with water. This is especially true if the floor has been exposed to water for a long time. If the moisture is not wiped up, it can lead to severe buckling or cracking of the floor. After repairing the water damage in the floor, you should inspect the subfloor to see if it's not visible. You might notice fungus on the floor or tiles that have fallen. Often, the fungus can be a sign that hidden water has gotten into the subfloor. It may also be possible to find a leaking toilet or damaged subfloor if you notice a leaky pipe. If you've spotted water damage in the floor, it's important to take care of the rest of the floor. The shower curtain, sink, and bathtub should be repaired as well. If the floor is cracked or ripped, you can contact a professional for help. If there are cracks, stains, or holes, then you'll need to replace them, too. In some cases, the water damage is permanent. If you have noticed any of the above signs, the first step is to remove the damaged flooring. The subfloor is usually made of wooden materials, and it can be difficult to replace it without professional help. While it may seem complicated to remove, it is necessary to restore the integrity of the floors in the bathroom. Affected areas should be thoroughly cleaned and repaired to prevent dangerous mold and mildew. If you can't do this, you can hire a professional for the job.